Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Skyrim skill analysis. And today, I want to analyze the alteration skill and what I think about alteration in this game. Now, alteration for me, in, in Skyrim, I feel like it's almost a non-existent spell set in this game, because I just don't use it very much. I don't find a need to cast, like, stone flesh or candlelight, but really... I think it's just because I haven't gotten deep enough into the game to be like, oh wait, I can still cast these spells, right? So, Alteration, as a magic skill set, it's very straightforward. So, it seems, seems very straightforward. Really, you have the main perks where you just get, you know, cheaper spells, the dual casting perk, but then you get some very special perks in Alteration. First is you actually get some magic resistance, which I think is kind of cool how Alteration mainly is about resisting things, like stone flesh, and you just get a magic resistance buff. And then you can also get magic absorption as a main perk from Alteration. So it's kind of a double, basically, almost like you become a mix of a Breton and an Atronog from Oblivion put into one character if you level up Alteration a lot. Now what's a really cool perk, which I think this is just an interesting little concept that can lead to some unique characters is the one where if you cast a spell oh god sorry hiccups but if you cast a spell like stone flesh or oak flesh and you're not wearing armor it's even more effective I think that's kind of cool I like that it's like okay maybe you know you do the math you're like okay stone flesh I'll get more protection if I'm not wearing armor but my armor has like better buffs or something than your clothes. So you have to go enchant some better clothes, which then gives you more perks anyways. But you like make your clothes better. And then, then you get to use, you know, the clothes effects. And maybe the clothes effects are based more on magic because you're casting stone flesh more. Or you just cast it anyways regardless. I think that's a very cool concept. I like support spells in these games. I feel like support spells are done kind of like a meh when it comes to Elder Scrolls games because it really is just like more defense or unlock the lock or you can carry more stuff. I don't know if there's a carrying one spell in this game. Honestly, I do not. But I just think that alteration, I think it has a good base. I just wish, you know, I, I feel like it with all the skills in Skyrim, I wish there was more perks. I wish you could specialize deeper. I wish it could be like, you know, maybe you then after you make it so you can't wear armor, the game goes, okay, you can wear like gauntlets or boots or a helmet and be fine or something like that. Or just something more. I feel like Alteration has a good base with mastering it having not a very good payoff. But it still has a payoff. Just not as much as some of the other skills, magic or not. But really that's all I have to say about alteration. I, I do like the skill, you know, I really think, I think the concept behind alteration in the Elder Scrolls games is really quite fascinating to me and I like it. And I like how Skyrim expanded upon it and I would like to see it expanded upon even more in Elder Scrolls 6. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy, oh God, I'm pulling cords, I'm sorry. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Skyrim. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam It Post of whatever I decide to make.